हेलो एंड वेलकम टू क्या लग रहा है मार्केट आर प्रोग्राम ऑन निफ्टी बैंक निफ्टी एंड डॉलर आई वाज नॉट इन बैंगलोर फॉर द लास्ट कपल ऑफ डेज आई बीन इन होम टाउन डू व्हिच इज व्हाई वी डिडंट डू द फ्राइडे एनालिसिस और आई मीन थर्सडे एनालिसिस और द संडे एनालिसिस बट वी आर बैक होपली मे बी आई माइट बी ऑफ टुमारो बट आई विल ट्राई टू यू नो बी रेगुलर वंस आई एम बैक इन बैंगलोर सो लास्ट टाइम वी टॉक्ड we talked about uh, nifty is in a bullish engulfing formation but not very reliable bank nifty is taking resistance uh, it's consolidating there could be a breakout if bank nifty breaks out then there's a nifty propelling uh, higher and dollar is taking support at the bottom of the wedge so what happened is uh, like in earlier analysis we were talking about nifty the good level to buy the dip is probably around uh, 19200 right so if you If you look at it, on 5th July we had said that uh, happy to book everything and sit out. No point in officiating at low IVs. Do not short for a big target. Dips might be small and short lived. Market see, still sees buy on dips. Ideal buying level is 19200, but I'm not sure if we'll get 9200 again. Was our last analysis? Uh, I can hear the audio, Manish. I'm not sure why you are not hearing the audio. Uh, so now, if you look at it, right, a few things have happened in Nifty. One is of course uh, at around nineteen five hundred, it took resistance and it came down. Today is like a, it's a tricky formation because it's not exactly anything, right? It's it's like a doji. You can call it a harami, but then the body is red. So I'm not going to put any judgment on that. But because we didn't do the weekly analysis last week, let's look at the weekly analysis, right? <laughs> yeah if you look at the weekly analysis of nifty uh you can see that see it's still not looking very weak for the obvious reason that this is a green candle and even now it is above the rejection wick's uh, lowest point right so see nifty is a buy on dip ideally i would buy it if i by any chance if i get it around 19250 ish levels on futures right even bank nifty if you look at it we talked about this before there was a resistance here it has taken a resistance here and come down right uh, but having said that it's a consolidation for a breakout in my opinion it could be wrong so let me write out everything right uh, oh and dollar completely took support at that bottom of the wedge and broke out i hope you know that that thing we yeah so nifty uh looks like it can test 19 200 to 19 250 zone because nobody knows the exact point right if somebody says 19 and 236.4 then he is doing something else uh back nifty took since baby some dip before con Uh, and the console and consolidation I mean, right it's not like pele dip fir consolidation dips uh, option chain looks kind of bad because uh, although today there was put riding at 19300 overall it is a clearly call dominated option chain 400 and 500 are strong resistance level our resistances ECR of zero point eight is neutral, but bearish if you consider ATM calls near ATM. FII data is pretty bad from the market's perspective because FII today sold two point two lakh calls, which is mega bearish, and sold forty thousand uh, puts, which is also bearish. Right? So today is tenth, right? Yeah. I'm a little lost for what day of the week it is because I've been away from. I haven't even traded for like uh, sold two lakh calls and for sold forty k puts. This is bearish. This is very clearly bearish. Futures three hundred and twenty crore buy is nothing. Mildly positive, 
and FIA stock data is irrelevant because it's just 500 odd crores, uh, 600 CR by not very relevant. So net net, right? What's the verdict on the market? See, the thing is, um, if you look at FII's overall index OI, it is almost 100K. So I'll just write that down also. Overall index futures OI is a very positive plus 100K, right? And this is, this is significant, right? Uh, so I would look to enter close to 19250 for a continuation of it is as simple as that right and trades uh, trades let's see what's the trades Okay, this is going to be very tricky. See, there's no point. So, okay, ideally you should wait to enter somewhere around here, right? But if you can't wait and you should not not wait, right? Because you have to wait. But if you think that you want to enter this trade without really waiting for anything, one thing you can do is you can probably sell a 19, 200, 250 types put option and then cover it with a lower put option. That's a bull put spread. But see, my point is this, right? So if you end, okay, so I'll, break it down right there are two options you can either do buy options which is bull call spread or buy a call option or something but the problem is if you do that and if it dips your options will become worthless so there's no point in doing that right the other thing of course is you can sell a, a put option and cover it with a lower put which is essentially a bull put spread but usme problem is that uh, you will be basically selling a very low IV option. So I, again, not a fan of that. The other thing, of course, you can do is you can sell 19,500 call looking at all the resistance there. But here's the problem, right? Now you are trying to catch a tiny dip in a very large uptrend. So that if market reverses right from here and starts going upward, then you will be in trouble. So See, although there is a lot of put options at 19,004, I mean, there, although there's a lot of call rating at 19,400 and 500, I am not interested in selling the same calls simply because there's a breakout which happened here, right? And if it continues, then any call rating is a recipe to get toasted, right? And any put rating is also tricky because of the kind of low IVs we are in up, you won't make money. Ideally, I would wait for this to come down a little bit and try to enter, you know, bull call spreads or calls or something, right? But taking <clears throat> taking this uh, taking trades at this level, I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Um, let me just see. Ritesh is saying Bank Nifty looks like a shooting star. Let's see, Ritesh. It might be a shooting star. Hmm. Not really, right? I mean, yeah, there is. Okay, so it's a good point that you raised, but there's a point, right? See, there are two forces at play here. One is Bank Nifty two weeks back formed a mega massive bullish engulfing, right? And here it formed a shooting star. Now, it is easy to say that this is a shooting star, but there's one catch. Shooting stars ideally should have a red body and it cannot be formed at the top of like another bullish candle like this engulfing. So now it's a fight between this engulfing and the shooting star and this engulfing at least seems bigger than the shooting star although the volumes are lower. So in this case I would not clearly call this bank nifty pattern a shooting star simply because see I shooting star ideally is like this right there's a green candle there's a green candle there's a green candle and finally at the end of all of this there is a shooting star. But this is like, this is a reversal pattern right here. And uske baad ek dam se shooting star. I'm not sure if I'll call it a shooting star. So let me, uh, uh, <coughs> do, do not enter, uh, enter uh, ideally at lower levels. 
uh, and then at those lower levels you can do uh, false spreads and uh, even naked calls make sense if you enter around 19 to 50 right but i don't want to get into the business of uh, selling options here simply because of the extremely low iv and the possibility of a breakout etc 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 uh, arun is asking can i tell the reason for analyzing uh, analyzing futures rather than spot the idea is simple um, futures are the traded instrument not spot which is why we analyze uh, futures uh, gaurav is asking how about shorting 9599 call with today's high s sl gaurav uh, see how do i put it what you're suggesting is a tactical trade it's like a or maybe you're right here you might even make money in this right in the sense that you might short a 9500 call with today's high s sl and you might just survive three days and nothing might happen to you but the catch is you have to understand that you're only trying to do a three-day trade uh, hoping that the trend does not continue within those three days now that is something why i am uncomfortable with kyuki yaar mera I, the, my uh, so see there are two things right one is tactical the other is strategic strategic is slightly long term tactical is extremely short term now my strategic view is that nifty is going higher and higher and higher now your tactical view is that chalo lekin is week to thoda girega now the tactics and i mean the long term idea and the short term idea are conflicting with each other right and if you are betting on a short term trend inside a long term trend then you have to be extremely nimble and get in get out quickly now if i am not mistaken most people who watch this including me are people who are how do i put it um, not full time traders right and we don't have this nimble your andar guso bahar aa jao types uh, bandwidth right so i think in our context it might make sense to not try and be cute and catch that tiny dip i would rather probably um aaram se catch the uh, uh larger trend by buying on dips than to catch this uh, uh, shorter uh, you know volatility navin is asking how quicker is option chain updated i think every second or every five i mean depends on which broker you are on on some brokers it is near real time on google it is uh, i think one minute uh, depends i mean whichever bro i mean if the broker can infra can support one second we do one second yeah but it's not like everybody does that right so so anyway so basically my i i mean just to you know uh, disclose uh, no conflict of interest uh, my last two verified by sensible days have been new, no trade days also i am traveling every time i travel and i uh, you know uh, trade i tend to lose money so this is a blank this is today and 7 july again is like a blank so if you have a no trade day please post your memes on no no trade day with sensible verified it's a lot of fun i actually have more fun sometimes than trading doing this but anyway this is our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow uh, so till we meet again please take care and keep your capital